What happens if you cut half the legal department in the central office and you start telling the campuses, sorry, we can't re review that contract for you. We don't have the staff to do it. Ms. King. Uh, Madam Chair and Senator Latz, it's our view that our legal costs would go up um, exponentially as an overall system uh, because a couple of things would happen. Um, there'd be an increased burden on the Attorney General's office, which is not staffed for it. Uh, we'd have to have some vehicle for delegation to outside counsel, which would be a multiple more expensive than inside counsel. We would have um, a decline in the, in the search of legal advice and bad consequences as a result. Um, so it's our view that our costs would go up uh, by a multiple. <coughs> the system's costs would go up by a multiple. If the Sen cost wouldn't happen in St. Paul, it would happen at the campus. Senator Latz. Um, so if, um, so even though this bill says that you can't allocate any additional costs down to the campuses, in fact, the campuses would be forced if, for example, they wanted to have a, a vendor contract reviewed, they'd be forced to find the costs out of their own budget. Uh, Madam Chair and Senator Latz, that's exactly right. Ms. King. Um, I, I believe Senator Madam Miller Chair. wanted to add something. Senator Miller? Yes, uh, Madam Chair and members, let me just make it clear that this bill does not make any reductions in any specific area. We're not uh, saying that we're going to cut the legal department. This is, this is simply saying that we want the, the Board of Trustees to take a look, a big picture look at the, at the Minsky Central Office and re reduce the central office cost by 10 percent, but we're not saying uh, specifically legal or we're not specifically targeting any amounts. Uh, Senator Latz. Madam Chair, uh, uh, Ms. King, um, give me three other divisions or departments or units within the central office separate from, say, the legal department. Um, that would be, since you can't take this out of president's salaries or the <coughs> chancellor's salary, that would be affected. Ms. King. Uh, Madam Chair, Senator Latz, um, we have a group that does financial reporting for all of the schools. We hire external auditors and we coordinate that work through um, a group in St. Paul. Um, if that group didn't exist, um, I'm not sure how we would do financial reporting, frankly, because someone has to consolidate. Um, we have a group that does project management for all of our capital projects, um, which you're familiar with. You've met the fellow that runs that group. He's got a group of four or five people that help the campuses contract with the constructors, contract with the designers. Um, if that group didn't exist, all that work would happen on the campus, and it would happen without any sort of central design standards or um, discipline around uh, around the capital program. Um, we have a group in uh, in the budget group um, in finance that does all of the work for you, that does all the reporting for your office, all of the coordination with your office. Um, if that group weren't in place, then your staff would have to call 32 campuses to get information about what was your tuition rate last year, what's your enrollment forecast, et cetera. 